What's an NPDES stormwater permit? How much does it cost? Who actually needs one? And what happens if I operate without it? Or mess it up? If you're asking any of those questions, you're in the right place. Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know about NPDES stormwater permits in one video, so you can stop guessing and get back to working on more important things. I'm Chris Rulin from RMA, and today we're talking about NPDES stormwater permits, a key requirement under the Clean Water Act, applicable at locations all across the United States. This isn't just a box you check. These permits are designed to prevent pollution from leaving your site and contaminating local waterways. Whether you're in manufacturing, transportation, or run a facility with any outside operations, this one's for you. NPDES stands for National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, but let's simplify that. If your site discharges stormwater that runs off in a ditch, a stream, municipal system, you'll likely need a permit. This includes manufacturers, recyclers, concrete plants, transportation hubs, and more. Even small operations can trigger the need for a permit depending on location and what's exposed to rainwater. These permits set limits and conditions on what can leave your site through runoff and they typically require a stormwater pollution prevention plan or a SWIP an SWPPP. NPDES permits may fall under a federal program, but the reality is that they look very different depending on where you operate. That's because most states have what's called delegated authority, meaning the EPA has given them the power to run their own version of the NPDES program. So while the overarching framework is federal, the details are entirely state specific. So for example, in New Jersey, permits are issued under the NJPDES program. In New York, they fall under the SPDES system. Even the names are different. And it's not just branding. The application process, fees, forms, timelines, and compliance requirements can vary dramatically. What qualifies as a routine discharge in one state might trigger additional review in another. This patchwork approach means that business owners operating in multiple states have to navigate multiple systems. And there's no one-size-fits-all solution. If you don't have a permit and you're discharging stormwater, you're in violation of both federal and state law, and it doesn't stop at fines. If that runoff causes downstream impacts, you can be sued by third parties and forced to get into compliance whether you want to or not. We've seen six-figure penalties and court-ordered cleanups. It gets ugly and expensive fast. Here's the thing. Your stormwater isn't just water. It often carries sediments, oils, metals, nutrients, and chemicals, so it's not just water. In general, NPDES compliance costs can range from $2,500 to $15,000 in year one, depending on your industry, the site size, and complexity. That includes developing your SWIP, installing controls, sampling, training staff, and keeping records. If you've already got systems in place, it could be on the lower end. However, if you're starting from scratch or dealing with past violations, it's going to cost you more. Expect your annual costs to be maybe 10 to 30% of your upfront costs every year for sampling, training, supplies, etc. These can be trickier than other regulations to deal with out there, since you need to do a couple of things repeatedly to stay in compliance with these permits, such as inspections and sampling. Most violations we see come down to missing or outdated SWIPs, poor housekeeping, a lack of monitoring, or things of that nature. People assume their site is too small to matter or they're covered by because they've never had a complaint. That's wishful thinking. If a regulator shows up, or worse, if a spill or a discharge event happens, that mindset won't hold up. If you need to get into compliance, it's not the easiest thing to do, but for some it is doable. For others, outside help is generally your best bet. If you're wondering how we help folks, we start by reviewing your site activities and exposure points. We evaluate whether you need coverage under a type of general permit or a more site-specific individual permit. Then we get your application submitted, create your SWIP, help implement best practices, and set up your inspection and sampling procedures for you to follow. We also train your staff, prepare annual reports, and can even handle the submissions if need be. It all depends on how much you need help. There's more to NPDES permits than we touch on here, so I encourage you to check out the article on our website linked below. If you're not sure whether you need a permit or if your current plan is up to date, get in touch. Call us, send us an email, or fill out a form on our website. We'll help you figure out exactly what you need and get it done right. At the end of the day, stormwater compliance isn't just a box you check. It's a common compliance item businesses all across the U.S. have to deal with. 
If you've got questions, we're here to help. Let's get your NPDES stormwater permit handled and keep your operation and your reputation protected.